Hi. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ziggy, and I'm here to tell you how Love the Web series came about. I remember it like it was yesterday, fresh out of high school. Getting into film school, all I wanted to do was act. I did a whole lot of theater and films. Throughout film school, it started to feel like my dreams were valid, and then I graduated. In my first year out of film school, all I really did was hang out. Didn't really have much to do because I need to establish myself within the industry. Auditioning with my young man. <laughs> and I'm at all got to get a combination. I got my first TV commercial. Shortly after that, I got a Mzansi Magic film. The stars looked very bright. I got what seemed to be the next big show. It got canned after four episodes. I'm sorry what. After that, it became very dark. Hey, it's time. It's time to be out of here now. Oh shit, the sun is out. Holy shit! The sun's out, guns out. Hey, <laughs> hey, yo. Hey. Yeah, it was night time. It was like 11 a.m. Blood. I walk out of here, fam, and it's like, it's like, it's like 6 a.m. Blood. It's a different time zone. Hey, it's almost 8 a.m. in Toronto, in Bryant, in Santa. Hey, man. 8 a.m. in Santa. Bro. I think I need to sleep. What? 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 Three in the morning. Yo, are you feeling what I'm feeling, dog? What you feeling? I'm feeling some tough <laughs> way. Oh my god! Who don't swing me on? Who bets on? Every other weekend, I had nothing to do but turn to alcohol and taking photos for Instagram. Soon after that, things got really bad at home. I had to move out of my place, and for a short while, we had no place called home. Myself and a friend decided to open a business. This business would open my mind to different opportunities. And traveled around South Africa, filming different festivals. Sometimes, even doing things I never really liked. I started to realize that my destiny could be in my own hands. I spent a lot of time going to different places, searching for what it means to be me. I always looked at rappers. All that paper that you chase, it's kinda getting in the way. I thought it was all good, man. Then I came up to your place. I should put you in your place. But I know this ain't the place. And I was so fascinated about how they could control the future and control the artistry. But as an actor, all I could do is wait. 
thank goodness for business accelerators that existed at the time, like JNB Hive. Five years ago, we realized that South Africa had a shortage of key resources to build sustainable entrepreneurs and set out to create a space that empowers creative entrepreneurs with startup skills, networking opportunities, finance, and infrastructure to help solve the problem. That's where our journey as a catalyst of creative entrepreneurship started. They gave us access. Access to equipment, lights, and financial injection. This allowed us as filmmakers to create content not only for them, but for ourselves. Forget if they keep it, I'ma get it by myself. I don't stop to load the trophies, just be chilling on my shelf. I see mama get a stroke and that was fucking with my health. And we both know who was helping, it won't come from nowhere else. This is 2020 shit, take the handy handy sip. I remember this moment like it was yesterday. It's crazy that I can remember it quite vividly. I remember I was in my apartment in Bromfontein at the time and a mate of mine had told me that there's an audition for a show. I'm not gonna name the show. Or well, maybe I shouldn't even say the channel. But I spent my last hundred bucks driving all the way to Pretoria just to get told that there's no audition. What's crazy is that I had put in so much time and effort into executing that monologue so well that I was so frustrated getting there and getting told that information that there was no auditions happening there. So I drove back home. As soon as I got home, I felt the urge to do something about this piece that I was so well prepared for. I then took that piece, recorded it, and put it online. I felt super frustrated that I had spent so much time preparing and making, trying to make sure that I have... Man, this is actually quite exhausting. And traction started to happen organically. People could relate to the subject matter that I had put up. From then on, every time I go to an audition, different actors would actually approach me, asking me if they could do a piece with me. I couldn't deny that, so I agreed. And funny enough, the more I did, the more different actors would approach me asking if we could do more. Did you ever look up the word black in the dictionary? For what? Did you ever study something that wasn't part of some con? What the hell for? I decided, you know, why not make a show and put all these actors in that one show? And that's when Love the Web series came about and the rest is pretty much history. If they aren't going to give it to you, you better take it. You know, we out here, we're shooting the Love series. Um, independent, independent to the core. You know what I'm saying? So, so what I'm saying is get inspired. Get inspired, my nigga. Yeah, So great, much. Okay. I'm sure your mind's left there, guys. For the leather content. So. I'd really like to. Eat. I guess it's true what they say, from great pain or great struggle comes great success. No one was getting paid for Love the Web series and I thank each and every individual that came on board and saw the vision. And of course, thank you guys.
because without you guys, none of it would have been possible without you. When no one else saw the vision, you guys did, as well as the crew and cast, none of it genuinely would have not been possible without any of you guys. So thank you so much. And shout out to all the actors, man. The actors really did come through in all the times where things didn't look promising, where I looked like I didn't even know what I was doing. I don't think I've said this before, but I'm just a qualified actor. Everything else I had to learn after I graduated from school. I had to learn how to edit, I had to learn how to shoot. All of this in order to equip myself so that I can be able to do something without having to depend on someone else. Hopefully, 2022 will be a year of greatness. Looking forward for an entire year of sharing the journey with you guys. Peace.